Sawadee Krap, and welcome to Phuket Extra Extra, where we take a look at the top five stories of the week. And this week, we finally saw the grand opening ceremony of the Samkong Underpass, a source of a lot of headaches here in Thailand. Let's take a look at the rest of the top five. And finally, we'll leave you with this heartwarming Facebook video of a dog taking a chicken leg and not eating it. Check out what he does with it. In the video, the stray takes the chicken leg from the cameraman who then follows the dog. It goes through the streets and eventually to a small garage where several puppies are waiting for her. And the woman who was sentenced to death this week for hiring a hitman to kill her Olympian husband? Well, she's posted bail last night after spending just one night in jail. Moore Nim, a 40-year-old anti-aging doctor, was granted bail for 1 million baht after being given the death sentence on Monday for the 2013 drive-by shooting of ex-national shooting team member Jakrit Panich Patikum. During the trial, the mother of Moore Nim tried to take the blame for hiring the hitman and claimed that her daughter was physically abused by the victim. Mornim handed over her passport as an assurance that she would not jump bail and is now appealing the conviction. And with the new trend among Thai teens abusing the opiate-containing painkiller Tramadol, the Narcotics Control Board is set to enforce more restrictions on its sale. Pharmacies will be restricted from selling more than 10 Tramadol pills to any customer at any one time. According to officials, Thai teens have been abusing this strong painkiller used primarily for chronic pain, and they're mixing it into sodas, coffee, or even alcoholic cocktails. And with the upcoming New Year holidays looming, over 2,300 police officers nationwide will be expected to oversee and ensure safety among motorists. Between December 29 and January 4th, police will be providing safety assistance to travelers with CCTV cameras installed along accident-prone areas, and even rest stops will be set up across the country. This year's 7 Dangerous Days safety campaign will also affect Phuket with checkpoints along different parts of the island since this is a time of year where road deaths are at their highest. And it was a wild scene in the Ekamai district of Bangkok yesterday when a delivery truck plowed right through traffic with 18 people hurt during the incident. Though there were no serious injuries, 36 vehicles were damaged. Police say it all started because the driver had been high on crystal meth and was making a delivery when a police officer stopped him for a traffic violation. But the driver sped off and that's when he drove right into oncoming traffic. The driver, 27-year-old Ekapop Yotsiri, admitted to taking the drugs as a stress reliever and he's been charged with drug possession, careless driving and fleeing the scene of an accident. The Samkong Underpass. It's the one project in Phuket that has caused many headaches, but it's all done now and officials today are celebrating that it's all finally finished, albeit 18 months after it was supposed to be done. This morning saw the northbound lanes of the underpass closed for the ceremony, which included religious rites, both Buddhist and Islamic, in addition to a big bike parade, all presided over by a litany of Phuket officials. The project was rife with setback after setback, so much so that the construction company hired for the job, WeWat Construction, was being fined 2 million baht a day starting back in January and they've spent so far a total of 570 million baht in compensation. The underpass opened back in October and now the island is seeing a few other projects including the Chalong underpass, the Banku underpass in Kokeo and a tunnel from Tepkasachi Road leading to the airport. Well that's it for all of us here at Phuket Extra Extra. Have a happy and safe Christmas holiday this weekend. We'll see you back on Monday for Phuket Extra, where we'll catch you up with all the news you missed. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Buongiorno. Bonjour. Hey. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Buenos dias. Nin hao. Здравствуйте. Привет. Guten Tag, ich spreche Deutsch. Sadikap. We are ready to provide international medical service with warm Thai hospitality. Call us at 1719.